biometrics here of Andrew Zamuda. We're going to take him out of his leg lift. You can see he does a good job of keep staying closed. Front side is staying in totally rotated. We can see that lift leg, you know, is 27 degrees in totally rotated. Pretty good. Back leg staying, looks like more externally rotated, definitely. Um, I would say the only thing is hip abduction could get be more coming out of leg lift could go maybe to 40 um, but I like the uh, hip positions as far as tilt we can see the hip is eight degrees in a backwards position so could hinge the hip a little more for some more posterior strength I think too that would help even better with uh, getting more hip abduction Trunk is in a good position. Everything looks really good so far. The pitch before this was 90. This pitch is 85. Um, I'd say the trunk, though, is too far back and a lean. That can um, cause the, the, another reason that hip could be uh, not abducting more is that trunk is too far back. It, you know, it, it's already pretty much in a max hip abduction at that point. So if we look back lean, it's about 25 degrees. That's a lot. Oh, actually, that's forward. So 24, 25 degrees. Back is 30. So that's a lot. So trying to get that more to like 15 degrees back towards the rubber would be ideal. So looking at leg drives, you can see as he opens front foot, not a lot of leg drive there into front foot strike. So um, kinematic sequencing is going to show probably not much hip peaks. Or you can see here the glove side is, is peaking with the hips or above the hips. So that glove side tucking here in the front foot strike is helping drive a lot of rotation we don't want that we want the hips driving more of that rotation we want the glove side working more with the trunk to, to transfer energy because if it goes before the trunk then it gets into trying to create rotation or taking over from you know or, or it'll disrupt the timing of transfer of energy from the legs up um, also too we can pull the trunk more rotationally and not allow it to transfer more linear which is really what we want um, so, like I said, it needs to be synced up with the glove. And you can see here, that's what's happening. There's a lot of trunk rotation. Everything is rotating forward. You can see the point at even maximum external rotation here. If we go to a trunk position, it's backward, back. The trunk should be forward as uh, we're, the arm is laying back. And then it starts to go forward, but it's so late. So at pitch release, it's it's only about 20, you know, 30 degrees, 25 degrees forward, 28 degrees forward. Uh, ideally, you want to be somewhere like 40 degrees forward, also to a little bit more hip abduction. If you look at you know the hip, you can see it's still sitting behind that front knee, and the front knee isn't really getting active. So not a lot of leg power, good loading and staying closed that drives good rotation. I mean, look at all the rotation the hip is getting in the front foot strike. Do this, so there's just not a lot of linear power in this movement. Is 90 mile an hour pitch, you could definitely see the trunk going forward a lot better. You can see the trunk flying off here, getting past 25 degrees, which you don't want to exceed 25. Um, then that starts to put more stress on the elbow without increasing velocity. I um, mean, like you said, you can see that trunk still just wanting to rotate, not a lot of forward movement. So it's, it's really trying to go back, um, not lean so back to the rubber to keep the hip not so abducted and then to get more power more extension more drive in the front foot even though we do have separation I mean we can see here with the hip line shoulder line that there is separation uh, not optimal uh, but it's just not transferring energy there's a lot of rotational energy which we saw in the kinematic sequence glove side pulling early we see in the the trunk position getting past 25 uh, before everything goes forward so Definitely big need for more linear power, and I think he's, for Andrew, has already got a lot of good things going for him. That'll really, really amp up his delivery. I think that you know, if he can get you know, more triple extension, more power off the rubber, more abducted hips in the front foot, more forward trunk tilts, I mean, good five mile an hour jump you know, or more, which would put him well into the 90s, which would be ideal.